Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya Nari and on here we talk about fragrances, layering, or anything you want to talk about. Uh, today's topic is going to be on apricot. I did promise my followers that I would come back when uh, I got enough apricots and surprisingly I had a few already in my collection. But then we're going to talk about what I have in my collection and then we're going to talk about what I would like to add to my collection. Well, here is my request for you. As you watch this video, please, in the comments, tell me what do you think of the ones that I'm thinking about getting or if I missed any apricot fragrances that you think that I should add. If this sounds familiar, uh, sounds interesting to you and it's something that you want to watch, then stay tuned. All right, so I want to talk about 144 Bloom. So we're going to jump into it. I have a total of five that I already have in my collection. And I think it's five that I would like to add to my collection. So let's start off with what do I have in my collection? My first one is going to be 144 Bloom. With 144 Bloom, you have to like a fresh scent. It is pear, it's apricot, it's, uh, it is bergamot. It is just a really beautiful scent. There's peony and lily of the uh, in here. You also get like a bit of raspberry, like almost a wateriness of raspberry. And that is 144 Bloom. The apricot in here is not predominant, but yet it is one I would say you should add. Great, comfortable, just throw on fragrance, bedtime fragrance, wonderful. I really do enjoy 144 Bloom. This one here is Olympia Legend. Oh, this is a goodie, like a like one you have to have. I have put so many people onto this fragrance. Uh, it's gorgeous. This is a beautiful going out fragrance. With this one, you're going to get the plum and the apricot. It's going to blend together almost like an a apricot jam. That's what makes this one so good. Then it has like this sea salt and tonka bean and ginger note that's in it that makes it sexy. Like as you see, I don't know if you can even see it, I have put a dent into this. And for me to have the level of fragrances that I have and put a dent in a fragrance, I love this one. And this is uh, Olympia Legend. This one here is Gold Coast. I had to have this one in my collection. It was one of the bond number nines that I wanted. And, and you know, bond number nine can really come off real, like, strong and heavy. So if you're looking for more of a lighter, uh, lychee type fragrance, then this is it. So you're going to get lychee, you're going to get red apple, and then the apricot is only in the top note. This one here, apricot is only at the top. It is not throughout the fragrance, but it's a fun fragrance, right? It's uh, great for a younger person probably trying to get into fragrances. The rose in it is a gorgeous light rose, almost like not a Turkish rose or a May rose, but probably like a Bulgarian rose, like a fresh uh, ro a rose with fresh dew on the top of it. Um, if you are into like that watery base you're going to get watermelon and then there's like a musk but the musk in it is not a heavy one this is a really fun young fragrance uh one of the ones that my daughter adores she absolutely loves it she's going off to college so i might give her this one because she's always sneaking to get it but this is a good one but the apricot in this one is again it's not predominant uh, probably that's why I didn't think I had a lot of apricots because I have this section off in my fresh section on my shelf because it's really more fresh watermelon kind of fragrance. Gorgeous, but if you're looking for apricot, I wouldn't say that it's in here. This one is Accident La Vanilla Madeleine de Puste. This is how my apricot desire started <laughs> this is the fragrance that made me feel like i don't have enough apricot in my collection right so after i wore this one i adore this one that apricot in this one is jammy it's delicious it's 
fruity. I love the apricot note. And I think it's because it's apricot and peach blended together in it. And then it has like a bit of coconut. Uh, but keep in mind with your set, you're going to get gourmand. So this is going to be buttery and like a, uh, like a, almost like a buttery biscuit with apricot jam. That's what this fragrance is to me. And I hope I explained it correctly. <laughs> so think of a buttered biscuit with apricot jam. Yeah, that's this. This is how I wanted more apricot because of this fragrance right here. Now, this is a Amarage that I, I was able to really get. As you notice, I'm kind of timid when it comes to Amarage, right? It's Amarage. So I have smaller bottles. I don't have really large bottles. <laughs> but this is Journey Woman. Uh, the apricot in here is a supporting cast, right? It's to me, this is more spicy and warm and cozy with a little fruitiness on the top, right? So you're going to get uh, apricot, nutmeg, and jasmine. It's a lot of jasmine. You have to like jasmine to like Journey Woman. You have to like jasmine. And then it's like this smoky tobacco, almost like a smoky tobacco that uh it, it'll take a little getting used to this is not blind by worthy this is not one of the ones that because i'm saying it has apricot in it you're gonna run out and go get it no this is a sample i know for sure that this is at scent split for you to try it out uh and see if you feel like i feel if it's more spicy jasmine woodiness with a little apricot Still a gorgeous fragrance. I'm not saying that it's not. It's a gorgeous fragrance, but this is a try before you buy fragrance. Journey Woman. Okay, so this is the last of what I have in my collection. And I made this one my last one because I really like this. I really like this. This is a gorgeous honey raspberry, right? Uh, with some apricot in it. I don't know if that makes sense um because it has a bit of fruitiness to it so like i feel like it's a raspberry it's some peach it's some apricot it might even be a little um passion fruit in here it doesn't really give you all of the notes in it it does say that it has apricot this is more of a honey gourmand fragrance for me uh i, I truly do admit the ginger that's in it, the violet and the toffee is more predominant than the apricot, but it is apricot in it. So like you get these hints of apricot, you get these notes of apricot, but not a apricot predominant fragrance. And I think I want more like Madeleine de Puce, which is apricot, like a jammy apricot or my um olympia legend that's a jammy apricot so i'm just giving y'all a hint of what i'm looking for as you give me uh fragrances in the in the comments to tell me to go try i'm looking for like a jammy kind of uh sticky apricot not so much just like a fresh apricot you will pull off a tree but more of a like a dried apricot that's what i'm in search of so these are the ones that I have in my collection. We're now going to talk about the ones that I want to add to my collection. All right, my first one uh, is Bontalenti. And I hope I'm saying it correctly. With this one here, you're going to get notes of banana, apricot, peach, coconut, taffy, a cookie note, raspberry, and caramel. This one is so good. I want this one so bad, right? So if you have heard of this fragrance, and I know that you have because a lot of people are talking about this one, please tell me about it. Tell me if I should get it. I love the banana, apricot, peachy blend. Like this is my style. The cookie note in toffee is not too much. And the caramel is just edible. Like this is one of those come bite me fragrance. Oh, I, I want this one. <laughs> I want this one so 
much. I think that it will fit perfect in my collection. And I can't believe I'm saying that I want a banana fragrance. That's the part that's getting me. I want a banana fragrance. I want this one. The next one that I am curious about getting is I was looking for one that had a bit of spiciness to it, right? Like some sweet, some honeyness, gourmand, but like a spiciness. So I came across um, Ali. Aliyah is cinnamon, apricot, cognac, uh, Turkish rose, honey, latamin, whiskey, and gerangelum. Now, I must admit, I was nervous about the gerangelum. I was. I was like, mm, am I going to like this? <laughs> but I do. I actually really do. I like the cinnamon and the latamin that, uh, labdomen that's all blended together. And the booziness of the cognac and that whiskey blended in is so my style. Uh, the honey, I would want that honey to be a little bit stronger. The apricot. It's in it, but like I said, it's a secondary note. But I would love to add this one to my collection as a going out fragrance. I think this would be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in cold weather. Yeah. But so far, I still like the first one. <laughs> I think I really want Bondolin tea. Uh, I want that one. I really want that one. But this one here would be great to add as a as a going out fragrance now this one here um is called uh god what is this one oh this is ambassador woman ambassador woman is pear and apricot and plum and raspberry all the fruitiness is gorgeous but uh bel uh velvet uh not velvet uh violet leaves and tuberose, rose, and freesia. Freesia is honestly another one of the ones that I'm working with, but the fruitiness in it is so good that I would still get it. The tuberose is not strong. So if you're looking for a more tuberose based fragrance, I don't, I don't think that this is it, but I do. If you want a little tuberose, a little floral notes, um, not too heavy in rose, but with a nice, gorgeous, fruity opening. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Woman. I will go with Ambassador Woman. The pear, the apricot, and the plum in it is so fruity and, and just almost like watery fruity. I like this one. This will be a really good one for, like, say you're going to a meeting or you are... Uh, handling business about to sign off say for your house or anything like that this is a nice classy elegant scent all right so let's get into one that i keep getting as a sample i don't know why i have not put this in my collection i need to put this in my collection because i already know that i really enjoy it right and i am talking about um la nora by mind games the passion fruit, the apricot, the ginger, the um, tonka bean, the sandalwood, um, the amethyst in, in this one. It's so good. It's so good. But one thing I will say with Mind Games fragrances, I don't know if it's the same for y'all that it is for me. It doesn't really last on my skin, right? So for the cost of them, I want it to last longer. I, you know, yes, I could put it in a decan and spray throughout the day, right, and freshen up. But I, I, I don't really want to do that with my fragrances. I think that might be what my hesitancy is for this. The bottle is gorgeous. Uh, the fragrance is actually, I, the passion fruit, the apricot, and the ginger works great together. But the longevity, is for me, it's the longevity. And I think that is what's holding me back. To be truthfully honest with you, that is what's holding me back on getting this one. It's because I, I want it to last longer. Okay, so this one here I saw on Drama Shop. And if, I, if they still have it, I'll make sure to link it in the description. Uh, it is called uh, Flamet Rose. 
I mean, I guess it's, you know, I call this a first world issue, right? <laughs> because I wanted another fragrance, so I didn't get it, but I really wanted to have gotten this one. So let's talk about the notes in it. It's um, mandarin orange, apricot, orange blossom, lemon var um, varbina. It is gerangelum, tonka bean, and patchouli. This is such a fresh, fruity scent. The apricot in this blends with that mandarin orange and makes this, and in the orange blossom, it just makes it such a gorgeous sundress fragrance. Like this is a fragrance that if you had on the sundress, you were going to a brunch. Like I can see, I can see someone wearing this, wearing this fragrance. The lemon in it is not that sour uh, lemon. It's like a fresh, clean scent like fresh out the shower clean. Everything about this says buy it. Everything says buy it. <laughs> and I don't know why I haven't. Because I really, every time I smell it, I feel like I want to get it. And so if you have this one in your collection and you like Nari or Claudia, I don't really know why you like this one. I have it. I don't want it. Send it to me. Send it to me. DM me. DM me. I will buy it. Cause I want it. I don't know why I won't buy it from German shop. It was really affordable, but the mandarin orange and the apricot in it, uh, I think cause I wanted more jammy apricot. All right. So this one here, I feel like is the one, this is my next one that I'm getting. So you probably have already said it, right? You probably have already put it in the comments. You've already told me, okay, Claudia, this is the one you need to get based on what you said you like. This is Dulce, Dulce Diablo. Oh, God. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you the notes. It is chocolate. It's apricot, cognac, rum, cane sugar, cacao, honey, and dried apricot winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> that's all i can think of oh i want this one i want this one today i want this one and it's everything in me that's making me not log off this video and buy this fragrance so if i had to rank them based on what i want in my collection I would say that I want this one here, which is Dulce Diablo, right? Then uh, my next purchase would be uh, the Antele. If I'm saying that right, the Antele would be this one here. Uh, then um, I would, if someone doesn't give it to me, <laughs> I would get Flamet Rose. Uh, then I will go for Ambassador Woman. And then after Ambassador Woman, I would try to decide if I want to get um, Ali or if I'm going to just go ahead and get Lenore by Mind Games, even though it doesn't really last in my on, on my skin. Uh just we have to end up doing a decant. That's why that one is last. Not because it's not it's not a high ranking. Like it shouldn't have been third. It just does not last on my skin. But that would be the the in the in the group of where I would buy them. But the first two, <laughs> these first two, don't say de hablo. And then that first one, the one I was telling y'all about, oh, they have that apricot jam, dried apricot note just what i'm looking for i hope you have enjoyed this video i i wanted to make sure that i picked them and i gave a good time and i actually wore them for a little while um didn't want to tell you about a fragrance just because i ordered them and i did order them from scent split uh there is a link in the description where you can do the same thing that i did right um and i to find the ones that you like apricot is one that i'm really trying to get into my collection so wish me luck that i do not hurry up and buy them today uh but i will admit before the end of 2024 or this year they're gonna be in my collection 
I hope you have enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? This is a great community of fragrance lovers. Subscribe, turn on the notification. That way you won't miss a video that I am posting. I'm going to wish you a wonderful night, a wonderful day. Whenever it was, you got an opportunity to watch this video. And on that note, see you to the next video.